All right, it is Monday, September 9th, getting to be about dark 30. I think it's like 7.30 maybe. <clears throat> but, uh, went this weekend, I looked at that chopper, ended up purchasing it. Um, I don't know, I think last, I don't remember the last video I posted, if it was two weeks ago or a week ago or what it was. But the old pay pack, I've been chopping with it. Enough to feed the cows anyway. That's what the corn, I don't remember, I think I got eight row, eight end rows here chopped off. <coughs> and tonight, when I got home from work, I greased and oiled the that's a 770 New Holland. I guess I, I'll show you that here in a roundabout way. <clears throat> but, had some sweet corn over along the lane at the other property that I mowed that off or mowed it down so the chopper still has the the 770 still has the hay head on it. I haven't put the corn head on it. This chopper box here, it's a Rex. It is. I got, uh, I don't know where. Right here. I got that to fix on this. And then I got to... I think I'm off a tooth on the chain here. And I probably need to shorten it up one length. For some reason I'm super tight. Probably because I'm off a link. Because it skipped when this would come around. And it, yeah. But other than that, I gotta check the tire pressure, grease it again. went through it after I got done last fall and yeah that slat was needing some attention um, and no the hogs are not mine there's well, you can't see it from here another neighbor that he raises hogs and these are the gilts he brings in, quarantines them here before he takes them to his operation. He quarantines them here for like a month. Uh, Green Bend Project is... I worked on that some here over the weekend. Gotta get my forms up. Get some footings dug. <coughs> Slowly but surely, I guess. Um, yeah, I haven't been chopping anything into any chopper boxes yet. I've been just chopping into the feeder wagon. There's the head for the, the corn head for the chopper. They bought this at auction, and it was on a 900. So these shields here are not going to be, I'm going to have to probably, probably make my own because I basically, right here, 
to right here is the width I need to be <clears throat> for the 770 because it doesn't have as wide of a of a uh, throat on it for the feed rolls. This is a chopper box I have not run yet. I bought this at the same auction I bought that head at. It was a consignment sale. I guess I've run it. I hooked it up when I got it home and ran it, but I've not actually. And I, yeah, oiled chains and still got to run the grease gun across it, and I still got to check all the tire pressures on that. Mode hay. I don't last. I think Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it's getting on the dark side in here. Yeah, too dark to show you the chop, the pay pack, and the feeder wagon. You've seen the feeder wagon in other videos. But yeah, put hay down. The neighbors were gonna bail and. They broke down, Baylor broke down on them. And <coughs> they got it going, just barely got theirs. Barely got theirs put up before the rain came, so. And it looks like rain all week, so. I guess it'll get made when it gets made. Might have to just chop it, and I'd rather bale it, but. But. This is the chopper. Like I said, it's a 770. Worked pretty good. Uh, this piece right here on the lower side of the chute, it was getting kind of rotten. So when I got it home, I welded this. Cut the old out and welded that into it. Um, there is, this is where the pipe actually has a sleeve that comes up in here, and it ends right about here, and it's kind of a, I don't know, dumb design, I would, they didn't fill anything in when they started the box around it, so basically, that point there will fill back up with silage. And it just sits in there, so that's why it rotted it out right there. But <clears throat> and it does have the electric controls on it, electric reverser, electric for the spout and rotate. So, but like I said, I just chopped out that sweet corn and weed chopped or mowed that down last week and chopped that so so tonight was the first night and it seemed to be pretty good but knives all look pretty good in it this is the badger box I got right down here there is a cover i'm gonna make to put on put on here it will start to bring a little silage back here and then it'll dump out on the ground so <clears throat> rather than letting it dump out on the ground i'll let it fill up and maybe bring it back around other than that, this box, grease job, and check tires. Oh, I got that tire. I'm going to probably switch. I got another tire I can switch out with it. And then last fall when I was going through this box, um, this adjuster right here, I broke it, so I, I already got that fixed. But... When I was going through it and tension and retention and chains after using it and 
yeah I tried to retention that and it was froze up so but that's kind of my update for you is on what's been going on around here I'll see if maybe the daughter can ride with the boy because I still got a little bit of that windrow left to chop <clears throat> over there so I'll See if uh, she'll ride with him to do a little video and uh, the chopper in action. And when I get going, I got I got mine, and it looks like about a tenth of an inch is what we got today. So, like I said, it was, I'll see if I can get her to ride along. Otherwise, I'll get video I got the silo there I gotta fill that it takes about 12 loads to fill that and then I got a 200 foot bag to do for a buddy of mine and then his dad needs a 200 foot bag done so I should get some kind of video and done of that so if you want to see that I guess I think that's what we're gonna run this chopper I can run it on the 4020 but why run it on that when I got the 15 cab and that's what's gonna run her so plenty of way more than plenty of power for it like I said the 4020 could run it but that's got a cab on it so take advantage of it but <clears throat> well I think that's about enough rambling for tonight I'll talk to you guys on the next one thank you guys for watching